right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video today. So we're gonna get some bike work done. Both bikes are getting new tires today. So we're gonna get MX-34s on them just to see how the new tire is. I'm just gonna show you right here how bad they are. Um, you guys know we kind of ride dry tracks. This one's not as bad as the 125, um, but it's just definitely crumbling and it's just time for a new tire. This one has had a full season on it and you can tell it's pretty beat up. Like we're missing parts of the knobs here. So we're gonna get these removed and then we're gonna go ahead and get new tires on them. Um, I do not do the tires myself just cause one, my arm isn't fully healed yet. If you guys didn't know, I fractured my humerus. So I am currently in physical therapy for that. So hopefully that gets back to normal here soon, but I am still riding. So we're good to go on that part. But yeah, we're gonna get this removed and get some new tires. So guys, we went riding at Lincoln Sports Foundation Motocross Park last weekend and had a good time. Only got, I think, two practices in on this bike. And I came off of a jump and I heard a pop over the face and I just figured, oh, you know, maybe ran into a stick, maybe something dumb. I didn't, you know, when you just kind of hear something. And so I was like, oh, that's weird. Did another, lap and then came off of another double and got really squirrely up top so um went and checked my tire and sure enough it was flat so we're gonna go get a 34 on here and hopefully get a non-flat tire in there so so as you guys know i ride a lot of dry tracks just during the week and stuff where we don't get them prepped so the reason i'm going with the mx34 is because it's a little bit stiffer tread which will be really good for riding on those flat tracks and won't just absolutely destroy like these are mx 33s so th this one's not bad but i'm just gonna go ahead and change it while they're gonna be in there doing the tube because i don't do tires myself just because i'm terrible at it and i always pop tubes so it makes me really frustrated so we're gonna just have the local dealership do it and I just figured I'd have them throw a new tire on while they're already in there so I don't have to come back in the spring and say hey I need a new tire after like two rides so we're gonna get that done tomorrow and it should be good to go all right so here they are guys they're looking pretty sweet lots of tread there these should last for a little while um, that's the 250 wheel and tire this is the 125 these are just gonna be awesome I can't wait to ride with them so we're gonna install them Alright guys, so today's the day we're gonna go riding down in Lincoln again. Um, got the 125 loaded up over there and I'm gonna load this one up. They both have fresh tires. Um, just bringing that bike just because this one got a flat last time. Not that I'm concerned about it again, but it is nice to have a backup bike just in case. Um, but I'm probably not gonna get two bikes dirty because it makes a mess in my driveway when I have to clean. So yeah, we're gonna get loaded up here and then head down to Lincoln.
really busy days. Uh, but everyone seems to watch out for each other. And we haven't had any bad accidents, I don't believe. So we're doing all right there. But this double double section is kind of weird. You can go double double, but you have to be on like a 450. Um, you guys have seen in my other videos, I can get it done. It's just a little sketchy and I don't really like being sketchy. Guys, we had a good riding day out of Lincoln. Unfortunately, hurt my wrist, so it wasn't crazy, but we do have a lot of good videos for today, and stay tuned for more videos to come. Thanks for watching.